All right, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the video for Tower of Fantasy. I'm Vitus SG, and what's good? All right, guys, in this Tower of Fantasy video guide, I am going to give you the absolute best build for Ling Hong. We're talking about the best weapon ships, the best matrices, the best teams, best relics. Now, really quickly, before I get into that, if you are new here, please subscribe to this channel and turn all notifications on. And then after this video is over, if it was helpful, head on over to my channel and check out my playlist for Tower of Fantasy because I've uploaded like a thousand videos for Tower of Fantasy since it's come out on PlayStation. And also follow me on all of my socials. I'm VS. And social over on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. I'd really appreciate a follow on those platforms. You follow me on Twitter, I usually follow people back. Follow me on TikTok because we're doing some really big things over on TikTok. I'm partnered with TikTok for some sort of YouTube collaboration, so I really appreciate the support there. It's going to be VSGN Social. The links will be in the description of this video. All right, so let's get right into this. All right, so the first team I want to tell you about in this video is going to be the most basic Frost DPS team, the team that everybody is probably using right now. So I got to mention in this video or else, you know, comments will come after me. It's going to be Yulon, Icarus, and Ling Han. Uh, Yulon, Icarus, they are on the rerun banner. And of course, Ling Han is the title uh, banner character for this current season that's going on right now is the making of this video. Now, what's really good about this team is that this is a purely like discharge driven team and that's how they get the most damage out you really don't need a support character like right now you're the gameplay you're seeing i am doing a solo joint op this is the strongest joint operation that i can do for my level and it's actually a breeze with me because i've got my yulon over at a3 and i'm using the awakening of ling han which basically lets me get a lot of discharge so i'm just going to read the awakening for ling han right now um if you get ling han there's absolutely zero reason why you don't get this awakening all right, so Ling Han's first awakening, it's called Overwatching Blade, increased final damage by 13%. When Alabaster Tiger is equipped, for every one Frost weapon equipped, increased Frost damage by 1%. That's the first awakening. And the second awakening is called Governing Blade. And Governing Blade basically says, increase final damage by 18% when Alabaster Tiger is equipped, gain damage immunity for 4 seconds when using Sword Art IC Beckons. Uh, for every 1 Frost weapon equipped, increase Frost damage by 2.5%. When 3 Frost weapons are equipped, gain an additional 350 weapon charge after the Wanderer uses any Frost weapon skill. After using any Frost Weapon skill or discharge other than Alabaster Tigers, deal additional damage equal to 1,456% of attack to nearby targets. So, like I said, what's really cool about this team is that it's a purely discharge-driven team. I've got my Yulon A3 over in Sweeping Force form, which basically means every time you use a discharge skill from Yulon, you get 1,000 discharge energy back, so you can go straight into another discharge skill. So, really, what I like to do with this uh, team is I'll use Yulon's discharge skill, and then I'll get Ling Han's discharge skill. When you use Li uh, Ling Han's discharge skill, you get a damage boost for like 8% for like the next 30 seconds or something like that, and it's super good for for boosting damage and then you use Icarus's discharge to just get a crazy amount of damage off because his character is nothing but damage he has an AoE skill that you throw down there and it just lasts for a while just giving damage over time while he's off field and you go back to Yulon if you got Yulon at A3 like I do you can get a little bit of healing back because she has the ability to use her fighting strength while she's in sweeping force form to restore some of her HP at A3 so she is super good A4 Yulon is great A5 Yulan is super perfect so I would suggest if you are trying to invest in a frost team Ling Han is all well and good she's gonna do damage she's a god already at a0 a1 she's amazing a2 a3 she's godlike and at a5 a6 and on she's like it's whatever you're you're freaking you're a beast at that point but I would definitely suggest investing in that Yulan because Yulan is going to be the backbone of any frost dps team that you use that has Yulan on it all right, so now I want to tell you about the relic combinations that I like to use with Ling Han when in combat. And the first one is this. It's going to be Space Time Rift with Thalassic Heart. The next one is going to be Alternate Destiny with Thalassic Heart. And then we have Alternate Destiny with Kuan Shield, either Type 1 or Type 2. And then finally, Space Time Rift with Alternate Destiny. All right, so the next team I want to tell you about is one that's super underrated that I actually really like a lot, and a lot of people might say that I'm faded for, but I think this team is actually good. I did the joint operation solo with this team, and it was actually like like a breeze. It was like super duper easy, and it was really fun. So it's going to use Frigg, Yulon, and Ling Han. Now, I've got my Frigg at A1, my Ling Han obviously at A2, and then my Yulon at A3. Now, what's really cool about this team is the Frigg. Frigg has a really amazing ability when it comes to using Frost units, and I'll go ahead and read what Frigg does. 
So what's really cool about Freak for this team is she has a skill called Fimble Winter, and I'll read it. It says, slash the space around the Wanderer, dealing total damage equal to 577.5% of attack plus 2,369, launching and suspending targets, and gaining damage immunity while this skill is in use. Cooldown 30 seconds. After unleashing Fimble Winter, a large frost domain will be formed around the Wanderer for 25 seconds. Dodge attempts will not be consumed while dodging with Balmung within the frost domain. Grant domain of frost one when you are in frost domain when using a frost weapon shatter is increased by 25 percent and frost attack is increased by 15 percent now i have the a1 of my frig and it says gain one frostiness point every time you deal any elemental damage equal to 550 percent times frost attack in the frost domain up to 10 frostiness points can be accumulated when the frost domain ends frost points times frost attack times 95 percent of blast damage will be dealt to all enemies in the frost domain after leaving the frost domain lose one frost news point every three seconds so basically when you have this frost domain up when you have the fimble winter going you're going to do increased damage that on top of the increased damage that you get from ling han's discharge skill plus whatever you do with ling uh, yulan you're gonna do increased damage so it's all about dps with this team i'm not sure if i like this team more than the icarus team but this is really good and if you have a1 frig or above and you have her at like a, a acceptable level like 140 mine's at 140 i definitely suggest you give this a try and let me know what you think like use it and then come back to this video and be like yeah this team is kind of butt or this team is actually really Really good i personally really enjoy this team i thought it was fantastic try it all right so now i'm going to tell you the weapon chips that i like using on ling han and the first is going to be this a two-piece ling han with a two-piece samir and then the next is going to be a two-piece ling han with a two-piece shiro and then we've got a two-piece saki with a two-piece samir we got two-piece frig and two-piece samir now obviously if you don't have a two-piece ling han two-piece shiro and two-piece samir are going to be the absolute best dps uh weapon chips that you can use for any weapon as a matter of fact i do believe that uh what was like stated on reddit as, as far as what's going to be the best for outside of using her own set is a two-piece Samir two-piece Shiro and that's like a standard DPS set but if you don't have the two-piece Ling Han I'll tell you exactly what two-piece Ling Han does it's actually really really good all right so the two-piece set says increase all elemental damage by seven percent when firing frost blades deal additional damage equal to 416 percent of attack to nearby targets this set effect works in the offhand slot and only the set with the highest star rating will take effect and then her four-piece set's actually really good too after using any frost weapons discharge skill increase final damage by 12 percent for 30 seconds when using alabaster or no when alabaster tiger is equipped increase all attack by 12 percent that's crazy this effect works in the offhand slot the only set with the highest star rating will take effect so it's very good to use her weapon chips if you can get them but if not like i said two piece samir two piece shiro works really really good and any of the frost sets two piece frig two piece saki those sets work really good as well all right, so the next build is something that a lot of the people who played on the Chinese test server or whatever, they got to play, they got to upload their gameplay before any of us um, got to upload stuff on YouTube, and they used this team. It was a Fiona, Icarus, and Ling Han team. Now, I got to tell you, I was kind of skeptical about using this team because you have a Fiona on it, and I don't really like, like, you know what I mean? But it's okay. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good team. Like, it's solid. I've used this in the joint operations, and obviously, I mean, obviously, you have a support weapon on your team, so you're going to get the heals back. You're not going to, like, die like ever so Ling Han working with Icarus is great although the one thing that I really didn't like about this team is that you can't use Ling Han's Awakening so I had to go ahead and use Fiona's Awakening so that's not actually that bad either Fiona's Awakening has a lot to say there but you just get extra damage with it now what's really cool about having Fiona on the team is that you do get the execute if you have her like me at A3 A3 you get the execute with Fiona so when Fiona comes back again for the altar banner you don't have her A3 I definitely suggest you do that because that execute is honestly just super good in benediction um resonance it's good in attack resonance as well but you have to like get your opponent down to like a lower health pool so you can execute them but even still that little bit still helps when you get them down super low especially when you're doing some sort of time trial now using fiona with ling han you do get a little bit of discharge back but it's not as fast the damage is okay it this just feels like a really safe team to me it feels like a super safe team especially when you're running a uh, joint operation solo so if you have these weapons put them together i think they work they're safe they keep you alive and they deal decent damage because Ling Han is obviously meant to do crazy amounts of damage. Icarus is meant to do crazy amounts of damage. You could also use Icarus's Awakening. Icarus's Awakening, it just increases final damage and shatter, so that's pretty good there too. Whenever you have frost weapons equipped with Precious One, that's what the yo-yo is called. 
but I honestly just go with the link of the uh, Fiona Awakening because Fiona's you know deals the extra damage or whatever like that. All right, so this is a really good tank. Uh, all right, so yeah, this is just still a really good team. Try it out for yourself and let me know what you think. Or if you've already tried it for yourself, let me know what you think. And let me know what weapon chips that you have on all of these weapons. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, if it was able to help you out with Ling Han, let me know down in the comments. Or you can just give the video your like. Let's try to get the video to about 30 likes. I'd really appreciate it. And also, don't forget to follow me over on TikTok. It's uh, VSG and Social. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, VSG and Social. I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, so... Uh, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.